All right, so my last of my batch of videos I'm going to make for the day, uh, and I feel like this is going to be a short one, and um, I kind of feel guilty about this one because I, I told I told um, I told James a couple weeks ago that I was going to do this, and maybe thought I forgot or whatever, but or I was blowing smoke up his ass, but I wasn't. Uh, and again, my reminder that hey, I haven't done this video yet. I'm lo looking at uh, my newsfeed, and humble performance has a post to come up as Tacoma, as Cape Swap, Cape Swap Tacoma truck is really pretty definitely really pretty but i'm sitting here thinking like you know there's a lot of people drooling over this truck like oh my god that's fucking awesome wow amazing now mind you james has built the same fucking thing in his garage at home from scratch and you know it's impressive uh so if for those of you guys that don't know james moore at uh, texas honda channel he has a, a mazda truck that i, I believe is based on like mate i might be wrong it might be like a ford ranger or some shit is based off of apparently the mazda truck that he did shares a platform with another company i'm not 100 percent sure which one it is so my bad on that so we're just gonna stick with mazda it's a mazda pickup truck single cab with a boosted k283 in there now i believe the k23 is completely stock and he just turboed it out and it's like making mid 200s or on no it's not mid it's on the high end of 200s because like, i remember telling him like you're right at that point where you're at the safe zone. So I tell everybody not to pass 300 volt horsepower for the K, for the base model K series rods. You know, and I think it's just a, a safe way. Now, are, do you see occasionally people go past? Yeah, but you also occasionally see people bo uh, boost past 200 horsepower on the D series, and when they blow up, they shatter the engine. So that's why I try to tell people, right? So if 300 horsepower is like you know safe max, then 280 volt horsepower is like a good place to be at. You better better increase the longevity, right? But again, still an impressive engine. Like it's just a base model that he threw a turbo on, and then threw in the truck, and it's making that kind of power, which is right around the range of what my fucking Type R is making. So that's really impressive, considering the fact that the cost of what his setup is versus the cost of what the Type R is. Right. Anyway, um, so what's really impressive about this is that, like you know he does he does a very smart thing, and he leaves a lot of clips and stuff on Instagram because that way it makes you it's like cheating using the Cliff Notes. You can kind of follow along with everything without having to watch every single upload which of course you know please go out and watch the uploads and that's why i'm talking about this because i think you should um he has a very detailed uh, story for you know the process he went through to get this uh, this build done and uh he did i like i think i know he had somebody fabricate mount for him like i remember seeing him take cardboard he used cardboard cutouts to get the, the proper angles and everything needed to mount this truck up uh, to, to mount this engine into the truck, and he had him done. And I know that James is always doing everything on a budget because he, he you know, he's very vocal about the fact that he's not having all the money in the world, right? So he keeps everything on a budget, and uh, so it's not, it wasn't very expensive for him to do this. But it's also a very unique build. Now I think that maybe, like especially some of the older people that would see this, I think the, I think it's lime green right now. I think that that would kind of be off-putting for people. I think if it was a shiny coat of regular basic paint on there, it would probably get a lot more attention than it does now. But people look at it and they're like, uh. And uh, as a matter of fact, <laughs> let me see here. Oh shit! Um, I'm pretty sure that the green the, on his truck is like the same green as my lunchbox handle here. <laughs> so I, I know that could be kind of off-putting to some people, but it doesn't take away from the overall fact of how unique this build is. Um, because again, it's not something you're going to see on a regular. Uh, even the humble perform perf humble performance thread, you see people like posting their own versions of it, but it, like it's like a handful, like one or two. It's not something that you're gonna see on a regular going out there every day, uh, and it's just cool shit to think that you know something that you know. I I say nowadays that there's not an impossible swap. Like you can literally do anything if you got the time and the money. Well, I guess James goes to show that if you got the time, even if you don't have the money necessarily, you can still make things work, right? And um, he did this, and I think he did it in a short amount of time too. Which is another reason why I, don't, I think it's kind of strange that James's channel isn't bigger than what it is. I think he's around 30,000 subscribers or whatnot. And compared to me, that's really impressive because I think he did that like in a year's worth of time. Like he built that channel from scratch like in a very short order versus me where it's been a year since I hit 10,000 and I still haven't hit 12,000 a year. It's been more than a year. All right, so my channel is extremely slow growing. Hopefully when my S2000 is done, I can use that to get out there and... Um, you know show that off a little bit and if i get better at shooting car content over just me just talking like this but hopefully i can get some growth in the channel but at the same point at the same time too guys i said you know when i hit ten thousand, that it, ten thousand for me was it you know i feel i feel at that point that when people call me a youtuber at 10k that it's it's you know it's valid you know people call me a youtuber when i only had five thousand subscribers i didn't it's, i felt like a fraud 
uh, I feel like I've made enough of a splash in the community now that, uh, you know, here I am doing this. Uh, now, I've got like, I think the last time I checked, it was around 2 million views total for the channel. So there are people out there watching, but I guess it's just isn't everybody's cup of tea, which is why the channel is tiny. But um, who knows, you know, at the end of the day, you know, VHB Engines on YouTube has helped literally change my life. I've met a lot of people that I would like to. I don't need to be famous. I, it's cool to be well known enough to be able to talk to the famous people and not be ignored. So that, that makes me happy. I've gained sponsorships out of it, uh, gained friendships out of it, and, uh, you know, a decent amount of money. Like, I, not, no ads on revenue off YouTube, but... And here I am talking about... This is sidetracking that shit. Again, so this, you know, the, the best person to tell you about this build is going to be James himself. So go and watch the build series. Uh, I'll leave a link to his YouTube below. And I guess it's also Texas Honda Channel on Instagram as well. If you just want to follow along and everything he's doing. And uh, I found James uh, stumbled across his channel originally a long ass time ago. Uh, and he has two channels and one's actually a lot bigger than the other. Uh, one has got, he boosted up, got real famous and popular off of like do-it-yourself paint jobs at the house, which he can no longer do. But um, yeah, so he does a lot of stuff at the crib. It's a lot of good shit. You know, it's not, uh, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that aren't really doing maybe a lot of stuff that's, you know, grounded closer to reality for what the common every everyday viewer can do. So um, if you're definitely budget minded uh, on things and you want to see how shit you can, what shit you can do when you get creative, then it's a good channel to watch. All right, um, so my social media links should be in the description down below. I will see about leaving a link for his YouTube uh, channel down below. But again, if you know if, if you don't see it right away, Texas Honda channel. And um, if you got any questions for me, tech or otherwise, or if, and even if they're relevant to this video or not, you can ask them in the comments. If you're DMing me on my social media to ask me tech questions, I'm going to ignore you. My DMs are for business nowadays, guys. Also, vhbeagents.com is in the description down below if you want to go and browse around prices of the common shit that I have laying around. Um, all right, then, peace. Thanks for watching.